Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Mitch from Mitch Reviews Everything. Today, I'll be reviewing Secret of Chinese Kung Fu from 1977, directed by Sung Ting Mei, and it's from the Shenan Film Company. All right, let's get to the plot in this one. A bad guy named Kang Ho, played by Lo Lie, returns to his hometown after being gone for two years. In those years, he has suspiciously gained a large sum of money in a gang since he left. He now has his sights set on purchasing the town's fish canning factory, owned by Mr. Chen, played by Chen Wu Shen. Mr. Chen, along with everyone else in town, is not happy Kang has returned, and Mr. Chen is also unwilling to sell the factory. Kang decides he will have to use force to take the factory over. However, luck would have it a sailor in the hero of the film who was cast out to sea named Chung Chi, played by Zi Ma Lung, would wash ashore. Chung is rescued by two local women who nurse him back to health. They get him a job at the factory, and Chung is thrust into the middle of the town struggle with Kang. Kang is willing to commit any crime and sink to any low to take over the town. Kang is helped by mercenary Japanese and Thai fighters, along with a mysterious traveler named Wan Ye, played by Huang Fei Long. With all these odds stacked against him, Chung Chi will have to use every secret of Chinese Kung Fu to save the town. All right, let's get to the good, the bad, and the kung fu. The good, the bad, and the martial arts here. This one's clearly inspired pretty heavily by 1971's Big Boss with Bruce Lee. Um, you know, I'm not going to hate on that. I'm not going to uh, too, too much. You know, you either like that or hate it when things are inspired by other films. So, you know, to me, I'm kind of indifferent to it. A lot of these movies have the same kind of running themes and stuff. So not a big deal for me. Maybe it's a big deal for you. Um, the martial arts in this film, let's get to that here. It's pretty competent, as they say. It's pretty good stuff. I did like it. It didn't feel like it was rushed. It filmed like it felt like they had they had time when they filmed it to really think it out and do the choreography for it. So it didn't seem rushed or sloppy. The one thing with it, I will say, is it does seem a little bit stiff. Obviously, they're 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 making it stiff as as they slow down so you can see what they're doing. I don't necessarily have a problem with that, but for some reason, it did feel a little bit stiff. There was a couple notable things with back body drops in this film you know where you just dump somebody over their head when they're running at you there were several of those which I, I did like i don't i can't remember another film where they do multiple back body drops so i did enjoy that as a pro wrestling fan that was kind of fun to watch um all in all though the martial arts is, is truly somewhere in the middle we can all say you know there's better martial arts there's better kung fu um choreography out there sure but you know, we're going to judge this based off movie to movie here as usual. So, you know, I did enjoy it. I wasn't bored with it. I did like it, even though it is somewhere in the middle. I, I was not I was not disappointed. Um, as far as the character development, good guys, bad guys, I think they gave you enough. You know, a lot of these films, you kind of don't get enough. But this film felt like you get enough background on on Lo Lie, the, the bad guy, the menacing bad guy, or the, the smarmy kind of bad guy he was in this one. And Lo Lie, of course, always playing a good bad guy. I, he's, he, I think he's great no matter what. He's one of my favorites, but him as a bad guy is how I prefer him. He just has that kind of menacing um, bad guy look, that arrogant look to him. So yes, you get enough on him to, to thoroughly enjoy waiting to see his fight, which... By the way, well, one of the biggest downfall I think of this film is the fact that Lolie only gets one fight in it. So that kind of sucks. I'm not going to say which one, but you can probably guess which one it is. In the hero here in this one, um, what was his name? Uh, played by Z Ma Lung. He, he, you get enough background on the hero in this and you feel pretty good about him being the hero that uh, you get a good dynamic between the good guy and bad guy waiting for the good guys to uh, hopefully come out the victor and I won't spoil it for you here but yeah he, he did a pretty good job i'm not familiar with lung as an actor he gets credited for about 13 films he has one movie directed but i haven't seen any of those other ones but he seems pretty good um but you know he didn't stick out enough for me to want to go out and seek out his other films but hey you know i'll probably eventually watch one of those other 12 movies he was in all in all this is a pretty good martial arts film that i think that you could easily, easily enjoy or just say, no, there's so much better stuff out there. And we can always say there's better stuff out there. But hey, if you're looking for a nice, nice, easy, mind kind of freeing kung fu film that you're just going to kind of watch and enjoy just for the heck of watching some martial arts, then this is the one. The only other thing I will say about this film um, that does kind of suck 
and probably a huge letdown is the fact that yes there's not a real fight until about like 18 minutes into this one so but after that 18 minutes it does start to kick off nice nice and uh smooth with periodic fighting throughout so there is that if you can just get through that 17 minutes if you're looking for the immediate fight fighting from start to finish this might this one might not be for you i thought i'd throw that out there um sometimes i don't mind waiting i didn't mind waiting on this one that's all I really got on this one. This has been my review for Secret of Chinese Kung Fu from 1977. I hope you enjoyed the review. And now, for your moment of zen.